Mad Mike of the Fabulous Fuzz Tones, and uh, I come from New York City, Brooklyn. I'm Rudy Petrudi. I'm the singer of the Fuzz Tones, and I come from uh, New York and Los Angeles and Berlin. Music for me is uh, uh, an escape from life. It's also the life itself. It's also entertainment. It has many different purposes depending on where and when I'm doing it, but it's always part of my life. Music is always with me and in me and around me. Music's my religion, actually. Everything I do, everything I've done since I was 12 years old is somehow related to rock and roll. If I go anywhere, I'm either listening to some music or looking for some music. If I have a quiet time at home, I have a song going on in my head. It's something that I can't escape. Yeah. Are we plug in with these little things here? I'm used to plugging into an amp. I'm not used to this, that's for sure. Now, if you guys are familiar with us, you know that we're the Fuzz Tones. And we got the name because we use a, an effect on the guitar that's called a fuzz box, which makes the guitar very distorted. We don't have that here. Ooh. So you will not hear fuzz tone. You will hear a very different version. Besides the band, uh, we're all involved in other projects that uh, are related to music. I'm writing my autobiography that I hope will be done in two years. I'm writing new material for the next album, negotiating with some record labels to re-release uh, some of our older material that's out of print, also working on some compilations. We have a volume two of our tribute album is coming out in the spring. So a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff is going on. Did you guys see this shirt? Could you stand up for a second? <laughs> Did you see this shirt? Fuzz tones, fuzz tones, fuzz tones. I don't do a whole lot outside of music uh, other than um, I, I like sex a lot, so I have a lot of sex. Um, and uh, mm, did I mention sex? I think you might have, yeah. yeah. I, and I read books. <laughs> I'm smart. <laughs> I'm really smart. Uh, the last book I read that I would recommend to everybody is The Prosecution of George W. Bush for Murder. That's a great book. Um, intellectual and physical pursuits, mostly. Uh, I work on lots of different kinds of music, uh, from, from gospel to, to jazz to everything else in my spare time. So uh, I, I don't have much besides the music thing, not even the sex. He's got the sex thing going, and I'm yeah, working. Hey. Anybody out there? Any gals? Uh, we haven't even talked about what songs we're going to do right now. So we don't have any idea at all what to play for you. So I'm just going to go off the top of my head. Um, some songs that are on our new album. Uh, this one is a, a song about heartbreak. I'm sure a lot of people in the audience have had their hearts broken. The Fuzz Tones never have. And this is called um, Brand New Man and a Brand New Car. out of tune, doesn't it? Yeah, it I don't want to play out of tune for you. And I don't think it's loud enough, is it? It's not, is it? Give me a, a G. G. These guys with the strings and everything, they have to tune them. No good. Sticks. Hit. A lot of times, the thinking, we turn it off for, for the... Uh, composing or, or playing, you know, the old musician's term, jamming. Somebody will start something and we kind of fall in. And at least in the beginning, it's good to just let your mind go. Don't think about anything. I usually write from life experience. You know, some kind of relationship problems or maybe uh, some inner sexual angst, maybe some political unrest, um, 
dissatisfaction. I have a lot of dissatisfaction with the world as it is today. Uh, so I use uh, the musical forum to air my complaints. So I find that you can express yourself better, you know, especially views that maybe everybody doesn't want to hear. If you put a nice melody to it, they're forced to listen to it. Uh, here's another big hit of ours. It's a, it's a song about a, a bad woman. Well, she's not just bad, she's evil. I mean, she's actually worse than that. She is wicked. I find that we, as, as people today, are being uh, manipulated by the media, kind of brainwashed into relying on computers, cell phones, uh, and being fed a whole lot of bullshit. You know, you get on your computer and the very first thing you see is is what's new with Angelina and Brad or um, you know some other horse shit that nobody really needs to know about and you find without even thinking about it that you're on the computer for three hours looking at stupid stuff where you could have been out relating to other human beings or you could have been practicing a musical instrument or you could have been reading a book or writing a book or you could have been having sex so one of the things that we like to do, because we really feel like we're one of the only bands left that really play rock and roll, we like to relate to the audience in a very real, physical way. We get the audience involved with us because they are a part of what we're doing. I mean, in a fuzz tone show, the audience is the fuzz tones as well. That's one of our big messages, really, is to just, uh, just wake people up, you know? Get primitive. There's the phrase in English that is, time is money, which might be true on a certain level, but also time is your life. You only have the one life to live. And if you let yourself be distracted by, by, by easier things to, uh, to fill your, your mind with, you could be missing a, a whole lot of stuff. So get primitive, hit things, pluck things, ask questions. Questions are more important than answers. Find all your questions. In fact, question everything. Question everything because there are a whole lot of people lying to you right now. Question everything. Question Horny as Hell, the album. Buy it. Buy two or three copies. Buy one for Mom. And don't forget Dad. And Little Sister would probably like it too. And then get together and talk about it. What are they trying to say? What are they doing with this music? Are they crazy? Horny as hell parties. Act out. Get primitive. She's a cat. She's a cat. She's a cat. She's a cat. Our new album is for sale here, too. It's called Horny as Hell. Don't ask me why. I have no idea.